Okay, so this is what we're looking at. This is the headphones from Edifier, and these are the W240TNs. Now, let's just get straight into it, and we'll go from there. So open up the box, as always Edifier seem to have a great aspect of when it comes to an unboxing experience, you know just as, as simple as a box that comes out like this, you know I always say if a, if a company is going to put a little bit more effort into the product, fair enough I totally agree. So we'll have a look at the accessories and then we'll head over to the headphones and see what's actually going on. So just to start off with we do have a small USB to USB type C cable going on there which is pretty generic with all Edifier headphones that they seem to be charged with USB type C. Nice little cheeky pack of silicon, don't eat it, just there to get rid of any moisture during like transit. They do have three different sets of ear tips, more in a plastic design going on here, a little peel off plastic there, so you've got three different sizes as well as the set on the headphones themselves. Sorry about the desk, I've been doing a bit of PC building lately and there's glue everywhere. We do get a little user manual here, as well as the uh, safety information regarding the headphones. This is just going to tell you everything you need to know about the headphones, all the different MFB buttons, which we'll go into later, and we'll talk about that then. So we need to have a look at the headphones. So we'll pop them out and see what we're working with. So they have went for an all black design, which is pretty standard with Edifier at the moment. You know, you've got more of a matte black finish going across Edifier logo and all that good stuff. So they did put all the information on the bottom of the case, which isn't a massive issue because you're not really going to be staring at the bottom of the case very much. But I like the fact that they've centered it all in one area. On the back of it, we do have the USB port, uh, USB Type-C port, as well as the pairing button. And then, of course, we have the front of the case. We do have an acrylic bar going on the center there, which is going to be for the LED light, as you can see, shining through right there, which is quite nice. Nice little touch. And, of course, we have the Edifier logo going on there, which is also very nice. So let's have a look at the headphones. Now the earphones themselves, the design that I've got here is the grey version. They do come in another colour as in white. But overall they have this more of a flat look design with a flat peak on the right hand side and the left hand side of each one of the earbuds. And then of course their logo in the centre. Now when it comes to the headphones on the top, nationally they come with like MFB buttons. These ones do actually have a physical click button which is right on the top where the Edifier logo is. Now the great thing about this, you don't exactly need a ton of pressure to actually click this in. It is extremely light and touching. So when these are in your ear and you need to actually click on the button, you're not going to be pressing this into the side of your head, which I do like. So with regards to the headphones themselves, they have went for more of a dome design for like an in-ear earbud design, which I do actually quite like. And then the top portion of the earbud kind of sits on more of a pedestal, which is relatively quite cool. So I know in the past, like when I've done reviews regarding headphones, I don't really massively talk about the sound quality because in my eyes, I've always thought just because I say they sound good doesn't really mean much. But then again, I did think about it. There is a lot I could talk about the audio. Like I said, I am a tech reviewer. I don't know everything there is to know about technology. Like I don't know the ins and outs of absolutely everything. That's kind of the point of these videos. So if I do miss something, you guys can drop in the comments and say, by the way, this also offers this if you do this. Or if you do it this way, you can also get this. That's kind of the way a YouTube channel works. So the, like I said, these are the Edifier W240TNs. And relatively, when I get a new pair of headphones, the first thing I'll do is I'll pull them out of the box, I'll put them in my ears, I'll start listening to some music, watching some videos to roughly see what they actually sound like, if they're actually physically worth the review. Because fair enough, if they look good, that's great. If they sound bad, what am I selling? Like, what am I what am I projecting to you guys? So we'll talk about a few things about the headphones, and of course, we'll go through the process and go from there. So I think one of the first things I did enjoy about them is that they do come with Bluetooth 5.3 technology, which does allow me to have, like, more of a strong and stable connection, whether I'm in the room or just in the next room, or even just simply connecting to them from simply lifting the lid. So the great thing is they have the new technology boosted into them as well. So I think one of the first things that did come to my mind when actually starting to use these headphones and testing them out was definitely how strong the bass really is. I started off with just some low level songs to see just roughly how these headphones would handle it and ironically they handled it very well. So when looking for their website they do come with dual dynamic drivers which apparently does help the premium sound of quality which I did hear when initially listening to some like high bass songs or some high bass uh, videos. So they do come with high definition audio experience. So they've got around about a 10 millimeter woofer and a six millimeter tweaker built into the earbud himself, which does help with that extra sound quality as well. So I think one of the biggest things for me is normally like the active noise cancellation. Like normally 
I wear my headphones out and about a lot and active noise cancellation can allow you to be in your own little bubble and I think that's mostly why I like it where I can plug my headphones in, walk out, do what I want and I'm pretty much in my own area. So the great things about these is that they do connect up to Edifier app which we're going to go through in a second which does allow you to control the uh, ambient uh, noise levels through the app as well so you can actually modify it to how you want as well for the equalizer which we'll pretty much go into that now. So first of all, I'm just going to get these connected up, just simply just going into my Bluetooth settings. It'll come through as um, Edify W240TN. Give that a quick click and I'm pretty much good to go and connect it. So what we need to do for, go from there is to actually find the Edify app. So I believe I still have it as I've got a lot of their headphones. So all we need to do from here is go into the app and actually go from there. So as we can see from the app, we have a few things going on. It shows you the picture of the case and the earbuds and it tells us that the left and right is at 100% and the boxes are 88% charge, which is pretty good. We have noise cancellation off at the moment, noise cancellation as well as the ambient sound which we were talking about. Now if we do scroll up we do have a few sound effects we can change for these headphones like classic, dynamic as well as customize. Customize is more of your equalizer so you can actually move it around and start messing around with things yourself. Obviously you've got everything from your gain to your factors, your frequencies and then of course we can add a few things in like scanning QR codes if you already have customizable settings already set up which is very nice to see. Now if we do swipe over, we do have gaming mode, so this allows you to have gaming mode on and off. Obviously simple as, gaming mode on, it will show you a notification that it's actually activated, which is very nice to see. Now like we did say when it came to the actual uh, MFB buttons on the top, like I said, little depress button, if I click it once, what it will do, it will actually start playing the song. And obviously if I click it again, it will pause the song. If I double click, it will just go to the next song, and it will just keep going and keep going. Now that's with the right earbud, with the left earbud a double click will send you backwards or and then again a simple pause, click and another click and you're pretty much good to go. So like I said when it does come to the audio, yes they do have dual dynamic drivers which does help massively with the bass levels and songs but it also helps with the lines of the treble as well as the clarity of when listening to certain songs or like high upbeat bass. So yeah I would say that they actually are a really great pair of headphones, listening experience was really nice. We did go for the app and like I said you can customize all the different frequencies and everything like that through the app itself. It's a free app you can download through the either iOS or Google Play, uh, Google Play, Play Store anyways. But you can mess around with the ambient sounds, the active noise cancellation and of course they also have the gaming mode which is pretty cool to see. So when it came to the MFB buttons normally I quite like a little touchpad just because you gently just have to tap it. But I was a little bit worried when they actually said this was generic, like actual MFB buttons not just a touch, like a little touch plate. But I have to admit they are extremely responsive. They don't need a mass amount of pressure to actually activate them or actually press them. And of course when you are activating them you can use these through, um, through Siri as well as Google Play. So you can use that by about I think it's three clicks. Yeah three clicks and Siri's on. Don't start talking to me. So then again everything through the manual will tell you all the different how many times you need to click the button left and right ear tip. And it will also show you roughly what will happen when you do press them. Now the one thing I did like was the ambient mode, um, especially when it came to like say making phone calls or I don't know speaking to friends and family on the phone and that's one thing I didn't actually struggle with. Like I've had pairs of headphones in the past that have been upwards of two, three, four hundred pounds but when it came to the ambient calling settings they were really bad, the microphones just weren't there, the clarity, the crystal, it just wasn't there, I couldn't find it. But the one thing I have noticed is just simply making calls with these things, um, just simple conversations. It really is as clear as you are having like a face-to-face -face conversation, which I did enjoy. I like the fact that I don't have to keep messing around with settings or struggling to hear someone when it's windy outside or raining or etc. Uh, I did like the fact that I didn't have to worry about that. So I definitely think they can compete with some of the higher price uh, headphones on the market today. These are more of a budget pair of headphones Edify have done from some of their previous ones. But I definitely have to admit they are still up there and still will take on majority of the headphones I've reviewed in the past when it comes to high expensive he headphones. So I definitely have to say they are a great set of headphones. If I did miss anything on this video that you want to pick out, please do drop it in the comment section below. I will make sure that I make the next video that little bit better. I am still learning. I am still, uh, I wouldn't say upcoming. I am still learning, I'm still trying to get better when it comes to videos from start to finish and still trying to get a little bit more, a little bit more of an insight of when it comes to these videos. So if you do have any constructive criticism, pop it down in the comment section below. But if you do have any questions, you can also pop it down there as well. The links for these will be in the video description so you can go check them out for yourself. And as always, 
I'd really appreciate it if you want to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.